There's a certain air of mystery behind masked muscle man Juan Aguacate, but the game that he hails from leaves much less to the imagination. A bare-chested tribute to classic Nintendo fare, Guacamelee unabashedly wears its inspirations on its tattooed sleeve in this joyous mashup of past and present. As a humble agave farmer, life starts out simply for dear Juan until the local beauty gets swept away by an undead horseman named Carlos Calaca. After falling to his bony hands in battle, he's resurrected by the power of love and Lucha for another chance at proving his worth. Set in an amusing storybook world filled with plenty of charming references to Mexican folklore, Guacamelee's fanciful introduction sets a perfectly upbeat tone for the grand adventure that follows. With interconnected environments engineered to tease and tantalize players into multiple visits, Guacamelee's ties to the time-tested Metroidvania template are apparent, though it's also clear that the game is more than happy to occasionally sever them when needed. Quite often, you'll segue into intensely challenging platforming segments that would feel right at home with Super Meat Boy, coaxing you to use your combat abilities in unconventional ways to get to the next plateau. Then there are the cerebral stretches of clue sleuthing and exploration, which often hinge on unique mechanics, such as the ability to switch freely between the land of the living and the dead. No matter what mask the game decides to don, the result is always surprising and engaging, successfully leveraging its varied potpourri of riffs and references to constantly redefine itself in interesting new ways. More than just the sense of humor and mischief seated within its farcical fantasy world, Guacamelee exudes a genuine feeling of excitement about its sideshows and secrets that make it a joy to plunder and behold. For all its different facets, combat just might be one of the most thoughtfully realized elements of all. In contrast to the cold and often prohibitive dance of survival that other Metroidvania games tend to promote, Guacamelee openly embraces confrontation in a flashy and exuberant manner the fit of its bombastic luchador lead. With a wide kit of abilities that include an uppercut, a dash punch, and a series of different grapples, battle is a constant proposition for experimentation that rewards its most creative participants with a real sense of style and accomplishment. Throws, most of all, feel like a vital and fitting part of the game's identity. You'll strive to find ways to seamlessly work them into the regular routine of your combos. Most of the time, however, you'll find that it simply just feels good to pile drive skeletons onto the pavement. Fighting carries some depth in Guacamelee, with a multitude of different enemy types, color-coded shields, and hazardous attack patterns all doing their best to make sure Juan ends up at the next Dia de los Muertos. But he doesn't have to go it alone. Offline, same-screen co-op allows him to team up with the pal for some equal opportunity bruising. That said, it's also pretty apparent that the game was made for flying solo. Trying to tackle some of the more difficult platforming segments with a friend ends up being a much riskier task on the magnitude of something like Battletoads. Also, with the number of hidden heart containers, side quests, and treasure troves to uncover, Guacamelee gives the sort of experience you'd prefer to let soak rather than be harried into the next objective. Vita owners will also be happy to know that Guacamelee has cross-buy support as well. When it comes to its length, Guacamelee skews more towards the Metroid than the Vania, with an average clear time of about six hours on the first run-through. Die-hard completionists will be able to hit that 100% mark with just a few more hours of work. Guacamelee makes up for its brevity with a densely packed game that never lets up on its challenging or creative pace. You can also bring on some additional pain by way of an unlockable hard mode, as well as compete on the online leaderboards for the speediest clear time. True to its fanciful food title, Guacamelee serves up a saucy mix of eclectic influences in a fresh take on a classic dish. While there's always the risk of sampling too many flavors, the end result is a delightfully diverse game that successfully showcases a different side of itself at every taste. PlayStation owners left wanting more after Journey and the Unfinished Swan will be happy to know that the next main course has arrived. But like any fine meal, just be sure to savor it. <laughs>